So I want to welcome uh, to the stage from the state of Massachusetts, Secretary Damon Cox, and he will tell you more about why Massachusetts is excited about this. Wow, I have to follow that. That's a difficult uh, act to follow. Um, wh where were you when I was in school, uh, Cesar? I wish I had a professor like you. I like that jacket, by the way. Um, my apologies that you have to look at my ugly mug up there while I'm standing over here. Uh, two of me, I don't know if that's great. My wife would probably say uh, that's not too great, but um, thank you so much, everyone. Um, my name is Assistant Ser uh, Secretary Damon Cox. I'm the Assistant Secretary of Technology, Innovation, and Entrepreneurship for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. I know that's a mouthful. Um, I, I usually try to truncate it to just uh, Assistant Secretary of Innovation. Um, there is no Secretary of Innovation. Um, it's just that my role is underneath the Secretary of Housing and Economic Development. So we have a lot of different uh, Assistant Secretaries for different niches. Um, so good afternoon. Um, it's amazing to be here. Yuli and I were just uh, talking. Uh, we were on a bus ride, what, three years ago maybe? And she was talking about this idea she had about creating this organization, and here it is. Um, so congratulations again, Julie, seriously. And, 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 and thanks for having me here. Um, it truly is a pleasure to be here to speak to you all about Cambridge, Boston, uh, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in general, and Chile. And uh, I, I, I know the focus of this, uh, this event is to talk about clean energy and advanced manufacturing, but I have some bad news, some good news, and some bad news. The bad news is I don't do much in clean energy at all. Um, the good news is I do a lot in advanced manufacturing. Um, the bad news is I only have, it looks like, maybe seven minutes left. So I'm going to try to get through as much as I can, um, as soon as I can, or as fast as I can, I should say. Um, in my role uh, as Assistant Secretary, I am the board chair of the Mass Tech Collaborative, which is Massachusetts uh, Technology Initiative um, Implementer. Um, and they focus on several different areas. We have a digital health arm. Uh, we have an arm around rolling out broadband throughout the uh, Commonwealth. And we also have the Innovation Institute, which is an amazing organization that looks at advanced uh, technologies, emerging te technologies, and, uh, and kind of guides the, the, the way to which we should make investments in the Commonwealth. And then also, I'm the board chair of the Mass Life Sciences Center, which handles all of the life sciences and, and, and biotech um, investments around the, uh, around the Commonwealth. Um, the advanced manufacturing piece is extremely um, um, robust and, and extremely promising. Um, we currently fund uh, advanced manufacturing in the tens of millions of dollars range. Uh, we have a relationship with the Department of Defense, of which we have um, three key investments, or four key investments, with Nexflex, ARM, AIM Photonics, and Advanced Functional Fabrics of America, which is uh, called a FOA. Um, and all these advancements are, all these investments are made through the Mass Tech Collaborative's M2I2. That's Massachusetts Manufacturing um, Innovation Initiative. Um, and we fund that on a regular basis. Um, in addition, uh, in the life sciences space, we do support organizations, small businesses, uh, via $20 million, $20 million plus dollars in tax incentives. So the state is really um, committed to making sure that small companies uh, are able to grow, uh, that small, small companies are able to establish themselves here in the Commonwealth, uh, because the other part of my job is to make sure that companies grow here and the companies stay here. You know, the story we love to hear is Caesar's story, where, you know, he came here, he decided to stay, he decided to start a company, um, he just, you know, those are the stories we want to hear. We want to make sure that, that, uh, that companies can, start, can, can grow here and stay here. Um, I would also say that, you know, Massachusetts is, is a desirable place to start a company, not because of our incredible weather. Um, as you all could, if you were here yesterday, you could see, and today it's a bit chilly, but because of our incredibly diverse and rich talent pool. Um, any company, any company that comes here will tell you we're here mainly because of the clusters that are here, the companies that are here, and the talent that is readily available here from our incredibly robust university system here in the Commonwealth. Um, one of the challenges of the role is to make sure that everything's not concentrated here in Cambridge and Boston. Um, I think it's really easy for companies to want to be here, 
Um, uh, and that's one of the main challenges that we have, just given the fact that um, you know, Boston is a city that punches way above its weight class. We're not the largest city. Um, we're not the most affordable city. Um, and you know, we're a highly educated state. Um, but home values are extremely uh, expensive here. Um, but we want to encourage more and more companies to come here, to grow here, and to start here. There is space outside of the Boston region, outside of Cambridge. Um, so we're encouraging companies. We're offering tax incentives through MOBD. That's the Massachusetts Office of Business Development. Um, there, there is an apparatus there to help, help, uh, help support businesses um, grow in that regard. Um, in addition, we're also looking at what are the newer technologies that are on the horizon. Um, with Mass Tech Collaborative, we're currently doing a research project which are gonna identify those. I'd love to, if you, if, if you hear something, I'm gonna list out seven topics. If you hear something that resonates with you, please applaud really quickly. But the Commonwealth is really looking to make deep, thoughtful investments in these spaces. So we're looking at artificial intelligence. We're looking at quantum computing. We're looking at cybersecurity. We're looking at robotics, blockchain, FinTech, the Internet of Things, and autonomous vehicles. Um, in our preliminary findings, we found that AI and quantum computing are spaces in which we can actually start to lead in, um, in, in, in certain avenues within those two, uh, within those two spaces. Uh, robotics, we're already a global leader in that space. Um, we want to maintain that lead. Um, but we, all, we also um, uh, welcome the opportunity to collaborate with our partners around the world. And I think that really speaks to the strength of the relationship that we have with Chile. Um, something that we'd love to strengthen, something that we would love to, uh, to expand um, and make sure that, uh, that we both can grow as, as, as communities. So we all recognize the power and the importance of technology and innovation. The economic benefits of a robust innovation ecosystem is truly important, but what is also equally as important is the opportunity to improve the lives of the citizens we are charged with representing, representing as, govern, as government and as private companies. Technology has connected the world and made it a much smaller place, but technology has also helped lift more people out of poverty than at any other time in human history. I think we should be proud of that. In my research for these remarks, I was truly impressed with Chile's standing as first in innovation in Latin America. From your aggressive tech visa program, something we should really uh, look towards um, to, to keep talent here, um, to, um, uh, to your leadership position in supporting women-led uh, tech businesses, there are numerous examples of your vision and dedication in building and strengthening a strong tech and innovation ecosystem. Like you, we too here in the Commonwealth realize the importance of creating these spaces where innovation can thrive. And we hope to continue the sharing of best practices and the pedagogy around supporting and growing innovation. So truly on behalf, and I have about a minute left, um, <laughs> on behalf of the Commonwealth, you know, I really wanna show my appreciation um, and, 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 and thank you so much for looking at Massachusetts as a place to, to be uh, a sister city or brother city and kind of helping grow your innovation economy. Um, I'm available on Twitter, I'm available on LinkedIn. Please reach out. We're always looking for opportunities. We're always looking for partners. Um, I'm sure you've, uh, in your tour yesterday or today, I'm not sure when the tour was, um, but I'm sure you've seen um, our robust um, uh, accelerator and incubator uh, system that we have here um, with Mass Challenge kind of being the anchor for that. Um, but, but just an incredible opportunity for global citizens to come here um, and kind of, kind of participate in this incredible ecosystem that we have for innovation. So with that, I'm going to cut my remarks, but if you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, uh, I appreciate being here. Thank you for the invitation. And uh, if I can answer any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much.